At some stage in her life, almost every girl dreams of being a beautiful princess living in a fairy tale castle. For Lily, the castle was a reality and she certainly had the beauty. But there was another part to this dream. Every fairy tale princess has to have a fairy tale prince. I mean, the books all say so, don't they? Who else can rescue a girl from fierce dragons and evil witches? But ever since Carl Kristoff had left the scene, Lily didn't have a handsome prince to defend her honour. For a true blue aristocrat like Lily, this just didn't seem right. Somehow, the state of the world just wasn't at all what it should have been. Or at least, it wasn't what Lily thought it should have been. Down in Australia, the Baron's world definitely wasn't right either. The attractions of being under house arrest and living in a camp full of teenagers were muted, to say the least. Excuse me, Baron. Sophie. This just arrived for you. It looks official. I don't like the sound of that. I've had enough official surprises lately to last a lifetime. Once I used to look forward to the mail delivery, but these days, no news is good news. Is it bad? Look. An invitation to the Baron and Baroness von Hasenberg. Oh, it's for Lily as well. Yeah, go on, go on. Lord Wallace of Winton Abbey. Very important man from England. Go on. Uh, request the pleasure of your company at a gala ball, Hanover Town Hall, and it's this Saturday. Isn't that wonderful? A ball and English royalty, no less. <sighs> what a shame you can't go. I can't, but Lily can. And Ben, as the current Baron, can accompany her. Anyone who's anyone will be there. Except me, of course. Lily will be thrilled. Yeah, and Ben too, I'm sure. I'd love to see his face when he hears about this. Saturday? Oh, sorry, Lily, there's no way I can go. Why not? OK, this is where things can get slightly tricky. The real reason is probably not something Lily wants to hear. I can't believe how many skills it takes just to put out a simple fire. And you were just the right person to teach me, Mia. How about we head to the nearest cafe, I buy the lunch and return for some in-depth instruction? <laughs> Is that a bribe? Hey, do I look like the sort of guy who would offer a gorgeous, intelligent girl a bribe? <laughs> and is that a flirt? Do I look like the sort of guy who would... Yeah, actually, yeah. It's a bribe and a flirt. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I just wanted to be sure. So, are we on then? I'd really like to, but I promised my mother I'd go into town with her tonight. But how about Saturday? Saturday, uh, I mean, you know, I have to get out of bed and then I gotta have breakfast and then I have lunch and then I have dinner and then I gotta go back to bed and I mean, it's pretty full on, but uh, yeah, I can probably squeeze you in. Thank you, Baron Ben, I'm truly honoured. <laughs> so, you get the picture, right? Uh, the fact is, Lily, I've made a commitment that I can't possibly break. What commitment could be more important than this? It's a ball, a royal ball. I know. And it's just my luck to miss out, but what can I do? You know, it's fire practice and I have promised I will be there. If Herman and the family hear that I've withdrawn from my civic duty... Yes, yes, but if I recall, you've committed to fire practice for the past three weekends. You must have filled your quota of civic duty for the rest of the year. Oh, come on, Lily, I mean, you know what Herman's like. He only needs the slightest sniff and he's got half the family believing you and your dad should be thrown out. We can't be too careful. I suppose so. But it seems you've more than proven yourself with a fire brigade. If I'm going to give, then I give 110%. You know me, Lily. That's the problem. I do know you. OK, so I've exaggerated a little. But seriously, Lily can take anybody to the ball with her. But you and I both know there's only one Mia. I can't take just anyone, Daddy. And I can't possibly go alone. What a shame Ben can't make it. But good to hear stepping up to his responsibilities in the community. I just wish he'd step up at a more convenient time. What about that prince fellow you know? Carl someone or other. Carl Kristoff? He's studying in the United States. He could fly back for the weekend. Doesn't his family have their own plane? Oh, Daddy, I don't think that's an option. Pity, though. Our prince is exactly who we need right now. Prince? Hmm. Ha! Ah, I've got it. My dear friend, Prince Konrad von Keppel of Kasselheim has a son. He'd make a perfect companion. Really? Would you mind asking him? Of course. I'll get onto it straight away. Oh, Daddy, you're a lifesaver. I think nothing of it, darling. 
I'll arrange for the young man to call on you tomorrow and introduce himself. I'm sure he'd be delighted to accompany you. Oh, wonderful. I can't wait to meet him. How do I look? Perfect, as always. Do you really mean it, or are you just saying that? I'm just saying it. <laughs> oh, you're such a tease, Sam. Go on, you'll be fine. <sighs> Good morning. I'm Franz Oscar von Keppel. It's my pleasure to call on Baroness Lely von Hasenburg. What's wrong? He's a child. Either that or he shrank in the wash. Sorry, that was my assistant. Could help is so hard to find these days. Miss Lily's unavailable. Can I take a message? Just tell her I called, and these are for her. Thank you. They're beautiful. I'll make sure she gets them. For you, Miss Lily, from a real-life prince, I believe. Like I said, the real world doesn't always behave in a way Lily wants it to, and sometimes she doesn't handle it very well. But don't be too hard on her. Just give her a minute, and she'll find a way to make it right. Here. Thanks. Good boy. Bye, then. Bye. So, Lily wasn't too impressed by the handsome young prince? To put it mildly. <sighs> It's a pity there isn't some sort of internet dating site for aristocrats. Nobles are us or something. Uh, there is, actually. What? <laughs> Everyone's doing it these days, even the rich and idle. Uh, here. Aristomatch.com. For nobles seeking nobles. A free, upmarket dating site where eligible royals, peers and aristocrats may be matched with others of noble heritage. <laughs> wow, now I've seen everything. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Sure I am. What do we say in our profile? I've never done this before. Okay, let's see. How about beautiful, precocious baroness? Right. Seeks. <laughs> Morning, Lily. Morning. What's wrong? You look very down in the dumps. So would you if you were Cinderella without a date for the ball. Well, get the pumpkin ready, Lily. Your fairy godmother is here. I'm sorry? I know for a fact there are plenty of eligible young nobles dying to take you to the ball. What? Since when? Since you logged on to Aristomatch. We set up a profile for you and... You what? And got nearly 60 responses. You can't be serious. How could you? 60, you say? <laughs> yes. Who would have thought there were so many single guys out there with titles? Oh, don't forget some of them buy their titles, Sam. Beggars can't be choosers, though, can they? Oh, not that you're a beggar, Lily. It's all right, Sam. Let's be real. At this stage, I'm definitely a beggar. Unfortunately. So you'll look at them? Absolutely not. It's totally humiliating for von Hasenburg to go through lists of names like they were cattle. But... There's no reason you couldn't. Maybe cut it down to the top three, and I might consider meeting them for a formal interview tomorrow. Between 2 and 3 p.m.? Oh, and Marcus, no 10-year-olds. No 10-year-olds. <laughs> what a bunch of duds. Too young, too old. Ooh, he's just plain scary. Um, these three look to be the best of them. What do you think? Do you really want to know what I think? Maybe not. But as you said, beggars can't be choosers. Right. Well, let's get this show on the road. <clears throat> you grew up in a castle, you say? Well, it was more a large house, really. Not nearly on the scale of this. I see. And your surname is Schmidt. Where's that from? Bavaria? It's von Schmidt, and it's Prussian. Really? Is that what the Gorter Almanac states? Let me see. Von Schmidt. Von Schmidt. Wow! Actually, I've just remembered I have another engagement on Saturday. A, a family matter that I can't get out of. Aha! There it is. See? Hello? 
He was much too skinny anyway. Marcus, next! Good afternoon. I'm here for the three o'clock. Oh, you're early. Uh, wait outside the main door. The tour will start over there. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Marcus, what's happening? Sorry, we were ahead of schedule. Sam's just checking if the next one's arrived yet. I hope he's a significant advance on the other two. Were they really the best ones you could come up with? It's not easy being a matchmaker, you know. I don't want a match. I just want someone with an authentic title who can speak more than three words and doesn't scratch himself all day. Is that too much to ask? Let's see how this one goes, hmm? You know what they say. Third time lucky. <laughs> Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Well, if you go upstairs and take the first door on your left, Lily is waiting for you. Great. Oh, don't I need a ticket? A ticket? No, it's only the three of you. Just go on up. OK, thanks. You don't get much for nothing these days. A nice surprise. Hello? Oh, good. You're here. Are the other two here? They've been and gone. Oh, sorry. Well, I guess you don't want to bother with just me, then. No, no, not at all. I much prefer to do these things one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, please, come in. You mean to say get a private audience? <laughs> I like that. Uh, would you like a seat? Thanks, I'm happy to walk around. I'd love to see as much of the castle as you've got time to show me. Actually, that's a charming idea. <laughs> you've got some wonderful portraits here. Oh, indeed, they are. Let me show you them. This is Wilhelm von Hasenburg. The hero of the Battle of Empire Hill. Single-handedly held back the enemy forces to end the conflict. You're quite the historian, aren't you? History is my passion. I'd like to major in it at university. Impressive. Uh, well, not as impressive as von Hasenburg family tree. Uh, well, that's quite a compliment coming from you. Uh, isn't that the Baron Otto? The one who gave the town electric power? I think you know more about my family than I do. <laughs> Do you mind if I take a picture? Be my guest. <laughs> Thanks. They seem to be really hitting it off. He's quite the charmer. And much better looking than his profile picture suggested. I think we can leave them to it, don't you? Absolutely. Mission accomplished. Excuse me. I'm here for the three o'clock. Just wait over there with the others. There are others? They're all here for the three o'clock too. So it's being done in a group, then? It's the best way. It means the ticket prices can be cheaper. Ticket prices? You mean I have to pay to do this? You don't get something for nothing in this world, my friend. I'm sorry, this is too much. Oh, come on, it's only 10 euro. Thanks, but I've got better things to do with my money and my time. Goodbye. <laughs> Teenagers. They think the world owes them a living. And up these stairs, you'll find the library. It's a fine example of neo-Gothic revivalism from the 19th century. Sorry, tourists. I lucked out. My guide is much prettier than theirs. I must say, I very much enjoyed your company today. <laughs> Likewise. It's so nice to meet someone who's so easy to get along with. So, how do you feel about Saturday night, then? Uh, Saturday night? You are available, aren't you? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, sure. <sighs> Excellent. So I suggest we meet here at 6 p.m. You know it's formal, of course. We're going somewhere formal. <laughs> you have such a wicked sense of humor. I must say, it's been pleasantly surprising to meet you. Not half as surprising as it's been for me. Thanks. You've been a great tour guide. <laughs> Until Saturday, then. I'm looking forward to it very much. Bye, Lily. Bye. What did you think? He seems really nice. And you two look like you were hitting it off. Oh, 
You know, he really did. He knew so much about the castle and our family history. He'd obviously done his homework. And what about his family background? Is he the real deal? You know, we were having such a lovely time, I didn't even ask. But it's clear from the way he carries himself, not to mention his knowledge of German history, that he's definitely the genuine article. Well, I have to say that on paper, his pedigree looks pretty good. His family tree stretches back centuries. Who would have thought I'd meet someone so perfect on the internet? Uh, I really must tell him to get a better picture. This doesn't do him any justice. So I won't need Prince von Keppel's son to accompany me after all, Daddy. Well, I'm glad you found someone suitable. Though I'm sure Prince von Keppel will be very disappointed. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. I'll make sure I seek him out at the ball and make amends. And of course, I'll pass on your regards. Thank you. I can't afford to get any more people at home offside. You have a lovely time, Liddy. I look forward to a full report on Sunday. Thanks, Daddy. And don't worry, the von Hasenburg name will be carried both prominently and proudly. What do you think, Sam? On or off? Off. You're so nervous, Lily. I've never seen you like this before. You must really like this guy. I really do, Sam. I've never met anyone like him before. How do I look? Like a princess. You'll knock him down. OK. I think I'm ready. Wish me luck. Hmm? Break a leg. Oh, whatever you say before a ball. Tilo! Tilo! <sighs> Wow, you look beautiful. Mm. Ah. Thank you so much, Tilo. They're gorgeous. My pleasure. Uh, but my name's not Tilo, it's Max. Really? Oh, I see. Max is your nickname when you're not using your title. Um, no, no title. Just Max. But you are Count Tilo of Neustadt. Uh, no, just plain old Max of Hellingsen. Then you're not noble? Um. Well, my dad's a farmer and my mom's a preschool teacher, both very noble professions, if you ask me. But you know so much about the castle and the von Hasenburg family. Yeah, I told you I'm into history. And I'm doing an assignment on the aristocracy of Lower Saxony. That's why I came here the other day. I don't believe this. This can't be happening. Um, is there a problem? But I'm Lily. Lily von Hasenburg, the Baroness. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think somehow there's been a big mistake, right? Once again, Lily's world just wasn't working out like it was supposed to. Lily, of course, had no choice but to tell Max there'd been a huge misunderstanding, and there was no way he could be her date that night. So that was the end of Max. Shame, really. He seemed like a really nice guy. What are you going to do? I'll just have to go alone. It's humiliating, but not as humiliating as not turning up at all. Can you put these in water, please? And can you check if Walter has the car ready? I'm running late. Thank you, Walter. This will do fine, thanks. The entrance is still quite away. It's fine, thank you, Walter, but I think I'll manage from here. Well, it's no trouble. With all due respect, I don't think being seen to arrive in such a vintage car would be a very good image. All right, I'm with you. There aren't many of these old beauties around these days, huh? You don't want to make people jealous, hmm? Right, right, that's it. I'll see you back here in two hours, okay? I'll be here. And uh, Lily, you look lovely today. Your father would be proud. Thank you, Walter.
Barnes Lily. How nice to see you, Oscar. You look very smart in your tuxedo. Meet my parents. Dad, this is Lily. She gave me an ice cream. Delighted to meet you, Prince von Keppel. And you too, Princess. My father sends his regards. That's very kind, Baroness. Are you here alone? Uh, I'm afraid so. Unfortunately, my escort got ill. At the very last minute, you know. Oh, how sad. Such a shame that so a beautiful a young lady has to enter the ball unaccompanied. Ah, don't trouble yourself on my account, Prince. But I do. Your father will never forgive me if we fail to help. Oscar? Shall we go in? Prince Oscar, Baroness Lily, over here. Oscar, Baroness Lily. Uh oh. Was it really that bad? Worse. I ended up being part of some sort of freak show on exhibition to every noble family in the country. Sorry, freak show? How? Through no fault of my own, I ended up on the arm of Prince von Keppel's son. That cute little boy. Oh, people were staring at us all night. I felt like a royal babysitter. That's not what others are saying. Sorry? You've made the social blocks. Oh, no. They wouldn't be that cruel. Looks like Lily made quite an entrance last night. Really? She and the young Prince von Keppel were the talk of the evening. Ah, uh, so she did go with him after all. How wonderful. An adorable couple, it says. Baroness von Hasenburg and Prince von Keppel represent the fresh face of German nobility. Well, well, what a delightful surprise. And I bet no one's more delightfully surprised than Lily. So if you got it in one. Lily was delighted to be the talk of the town. She never dreamed that attending a ball with a 10-year-old would attract so much favorable attention. But much as she loved being in the social pages, Lily knew she had a serious business matter to address. Well, in truth, it was more apology than business. Who would believe that Baroness Lily von Hasenberg, the most aristocratic of aristocrats, would suddenly find she had so much in common with a commoner? In a fairy tale week, maybe this was the biggest fairy tale of them all.